So this application is a 3D audio visualizer suite made in OpenGL and Juice. So the way this application works is you give it a piece of audio and it visualizes it in 3D. So um, let's pick a sine wave to start off with. Um, and first off, I'll show the 2D oscilloscope. So when I hit play, it starts visualizing the sine wave sound. Um, and so now we could pick like another another uh, audio file. So uh, this has some flutes to it. So it starts off like this. So the oscilloscope will um, visualize the waveform over time, and it just scrolls by really fast. So when drums come in, it looks really cool. Um, so the the main thing about this is that it's uh, this 2D oscilloscope. It's uh, implemented in OpenGL shaders, but the one thing about it is it uses a fragment shader, and so it's generating all of this vis visualization in the fragment shader. So you don't get a 3D view; you just get a 2D flat view because the fragment shader goes to each pixel and colors it. Um, and so you'd have to do some really weird math to get it to like rotate in 3D. So this is just a flat 2D oscilloscope. So next I can show the 3D oscilloscope. And that takes a bit longer to load. I have a lot of crazy variables in the uh, geometry shader that will um, sort of generate some of the geometry on the fly. Um, I could have done this on the hard on the on the CPU instead of loading all these calculations on the GPU by using the geometry shader, but I wanted to learn more about it. So the geometry shader is um, calculating sort of the points along this pipe, um, and this is basically going to do the same thing as the 2D oscilloscope, except that it's going to be in 3D. Um, and so this is basically a pipe that will get excited by the audio. So if I hit the same flute thing, And so all of these points are being generated at runtime on the GPU from the geometry shader. Okay, the final visualization we have is the spectrum. And so basically, um, this is a big graph of um, it's got the frequency going along the x-axis. It's got the time going along z-axis. And the amplitude will be this y-axis um, when it starts going. So I'll pick a piece of audio like this. And so the low end is over here on the left, and the high end is over here on the right. So in the future, instead of having all of these as points, I sort of want to connect them as triangles in a uh, sort of like a 3D terrain. So it'll look more like a mountain rather than um, these set of like particles that are moving up and down. Um, so that was my graphics final project. Thanks.